I've heard redheads feel more pain. Is that right, Julia? Ouch. It is actually true there's a link between gingerness and pain. Scientists have known about this for more than a decade, but the exact nature of the relationship and how it works is a bit murky. Here's what we do know. What causes redheads to be the beautiful unicorns that they are? Okay, I may be biased there. When it comes to hair color, you have a specific gene to think the melanocortin-1 receptor gene, or MC1R, which is located near the tip of our 16th chromosome. MC1R triggers pigment production in skin, eyes, and hair. The human body produces two pigments, eumelanin, that has a brown-black tone, and pheomelanin, which is red and yellow. In general, the more eumelanin, the darker your skin and hair. But some mutations of the MC1R gene shut off nearly all eumelanin production, leaving only the red and yellow hues of pheomelanin. And bam, you've got yourself a ginger. But here's the thing, MC1R doesn't just influence hair color. It's pleiotropic, which means it has more than one function. MC1R also influences the skin's response to ultraviolet radiation. Yay, sunburns. And MC1R proteins feature in the midbrain, where reactions to pain are decided. And this is where things get complicated. Only a handful of studies exist on the relationship between redheadedness and pain, and the results appear conflicting. They found redheads need more anesthesia, but fewer painkillers. Redheads are more sensitive to temperature-related pain, but less sensitive to electric shock pain. Confused? Let's break it down. First, you'll need to know the difference between anesthesia and analgesics. Anesthesia numbs the senses, so you won't feel pain, but you also won't feel someone's touch. Analgesics, on the other hand, kill pain without affecting the rest of our senses. But anesthesia and analgesics affect different parts of the central nervous system and work via different neural circuits. So it's reasonable redheadedness could influence the two treatments in different ways. A University of Louisville team found topical anesthetics like lidocaine are less effective in gingers, so they might need more to numb their pain. They also found redheads require 19% more inhaled anesthesia than dark-haired patients to get knocked out. Around the same time, a group from McGill University found redheads are more sensitive to the opioid painkiller morphine and therefore need less of it. They also found redheaded women need less of a kappa opioid drug sometimes used during labor compared to blondes and brunettes. Interesting, very interesting. This McGill team was also the one who found redheads are less sensitive to electric shock pain, while the Louisville team found redheads are more sensitive to pain caused by hot and cold temperatures. But does being a redhead mean you are more or less likely to get hooked on painkillers like opioids? Studies have shown relatives of opioid abusers are 10 times more likely to become addicted to the drugs, suggesting genetics factors into abuse susceptibility. But science still needs to examine whether MCR1 itself plays a role. In the meantime, take care with your redheads. They are reacting to pain differently than the rest of us. My mom always told me I was special. I'm Julia Griffin. And I'm Seekon Akpan for the PBS NewsHour.